my classroom, the through lines were a really helpful tool, naming some of those roles that we take on as um, followers of Christ, like we are image bearers, we are community builders. It really helped the students connect with the concept. So I remember my third grade students str struggled a lot one year with what goes in the recycle bin and what goes in the garbage can. <laughs> and I said, well, as, as earth keepers, you know, using this TFT language, let's understand the difference. Why does it matter? When they saw the opportunity to to take on the role themselves. Oh, when I choose where this paper goes, I am choosing to be an earth keeper or not. I'm choosing to help God, God's creation or not. And it was just one of the many ways that we are empowering students to take action um, in their own lives, not even necessarily just the curriculum, but in what we do and how we do it. My deep hope for my students was that they would learn how to build the kingdom of God and how to play their role in his story. So we started studying um, ancient Mesopotamia and we looked at five different ways that the ancient Mesopotamians built from like tribes into empires and they had to put that into practice to build the kingdom of God. So it was a bit of like a move from a concrete, like I understand what's happening here to this abstract, how will I put that into play in my life. And then we moved on and we studied the Greeks and we did the same thing. And then we studied the Romans. We would look at leaders and say like, what concepts here about leadership can we learn that we're going to put into place in our own lives, not for the sake of building our own empires, but for the sake of building God's kingdom so that our learning became relevant for how we're each participating in the kingdom of God while we live out our time on earth. My deep hope is that my students would seek restoration at all times and all things that they'd always be on the lookout for things that are broken, lost, lonely, last, and lift them up. You get an authenticity in your classroom when your kids know that, and when they know it early on, and when you say to them, beyond the stages of the salmon life cycle, mm -hmm. what, do I, what do I hope for you? I remember thinking, this is actually my deep hope for me, mm -hmm. and my deep hope for the world. So when, when that's the center of my classroom, of course our kids are going to become family members. Of course they're going to become disciples that you're just working with because we're all after the same thing. Let's seek restoration together. Just like we all have to exist together for something outside of ourselves. When you give your classroom something to be on mission about together outside of themselves, then a whole, you're doing a whole different thing together. It was about loving other people. That's so empowering to tell a child that, no, you're not just gonna make a poster about this. We're gonna show our learning and practice our learning by doing real work that meets real needs for real people. A kindergarten teacher at Mac takes her kindergartners to a senior living home every single month. At first, she has to plan meticulously everything. She has to teach them how to have conversations, what to say. But as they return there, month after month, the kids start saying, hey, can we, can we bring like the activity that they're doing? Can we bring this to our, to our grandma and grandpa buddies? Hey, can we do this the next time that we go? And one of the seniors turned 100. They threw him a birthday party and then they would bring in all kinds of different toys, all kinds of different things. And we knew that it was having an impact beyond just that hour when families started visiting that same senior living home like on Saturdays. There was a woman who became sick and passed away and this family was a part of that whole process, like a part of her passing and a part of her grieving and a part of her family's grieving afterwards. Those kindergartners began to experience that they can bring joy and that part of being fully alive in God's story is making relationships with real people, but it extended beyond just the classroom into their families. You said before that Bellevue Christian isn't just for your student, it's for your whole family. For us to become people who are passing forward, that kind of transformative living is really powerful.